The name sandalwood is derived from the Sanskrit chandanam, meaning white, bright like the moon or fragrant. Its botanical name is Sandalum album. It belongs to the Sandalaceae family of the genus Sandalum. Sandalum album, Indian sandalwood, and Sandalum spicatum, the Australian sandalwood, are the most significant members of the genus. Sandalwood is a semi-parasitic evergreen tree of medium size, reaching a height of approximately 20 to 30 feet. It needs several trees as hosts for its roots to anchor. The trunk is grayish-brown with many slender twigs, the leaves being leathery, the petals small and purple. The tree has to be at least 30 to 40 years old to produce a high level of quality, but an age of 80 or above years is given preference. The fruits are pea-sized and used for necklaces estimated for ritual purposes also in ornaments. The essential oil of sandalwood is extracted from the hardwood by steam distillation. The wood is also used for furniture because it is resistant to ants and other insects. The essential oil is semi-viscous, light yellow and exudes a balsamic, sweet and spicy woody fragrance. The highest quality of sandalwood is thought to come from Mysore region of Karnataka in South India. In ancient times, the Indian subcontinent was famous for its precious goods such as gold and gems, spices, fine textiles and perfumes. Sandalwood belonged to these prestigious trading goods which were exported along the ancient coastal trading routes of the Persian Gulf. The traditional term wood and gold for sandalwood is an expression of its high esteem all over the centuries. Due to its high values, the trees have been permanently endangered by exploitation and poaching. Although today sandalwood in India is under strict control of the government, many trees are still cut down illegally and smuggled out of the country. Sandalwood has been used for thousands of years in ancient India. It is commonly used in mala beads, expressing the divine status it is given by the population. It is believed to be most pleasing to the gods since it balances the desires and transforms the ego, unfolds humility in man and supports the mind to concentrate and to maintain alertness during meditation, during prayer, and inner contemplation. Sandalwood powder is used as an embalming paste on Shiva lingas in temples of Lord Shiva. A vast majority of Hindus wear a small mark of this paste on their forehead, the famous tilak or bindi, right above the middle of the eyes. It is supposed to keep the third eye, which is linked to the pituitary gland, cool and uh, protected. I've already got a host. This is its pot host. It's called Alternanthra. Uh, so this keeps it going while it's in the in the pot, gives it a lot of its nutrient and also gives it some of its water. Uh, if we come down here, we've got all the range of hosts that we need. So this is more of the pot host, that's the alternanthra. Uh, you'll see it out in the field, that's the sandalwood that's just come out of the seed bed. It's about a week old, so you can see that. This one here, that's two weeks old. We've got the different coloured roots here. So that brown root, that's sandalwood. These white roots, that's the alternanthra. And these little suction caps are called historia. And that's where the sandalwood is already attaching 
to to its first host. So pretty cool. It's just like a suction cap, and it'll start taking out nutrients. Uh, uh, yeah. They use it in India also? Or no, 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 only here, here, here only because here. this is a local tree. So they have sandalwood here also? Yeah, they, the sandalwood is introduced. Mm. So they use this as They a, use it now with this here. Right, right. As so that they tree. could, yeah. the, the, the root could they absorb the, the, yeah. the nutrition yeah. from Wampi. So I didn't yeah. know that they started and then, sandalwood here. And, and mm. they found out that uh, with this kind of parasite tree, that uh, on, I mean uh, the the parent tree, you could say, and uh, the sandalwood uh, uh, after three years uh, it could get already the in the so wood accelerated. It, yeah, and then uh, also the smell is uh, different. Uh, the 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 sandalwood uh, smells more honey like, mm. with more this uh, sweet uh, Amazing. smell. Amazing. Also, of course, uh, from, from because of the nutrition from the wampi. Yeah. So. Wampi. In aromatherapy, sandalwood oil is considered to help to cool, to calm down, to soothe and energize mind and body. It has good effects in case of insomnia, inner restlessness, nervous exhaustion, and sit up. Also, it is used to relieve respiratory problems and to treat gastroenteritis, for example. It is also helpful in case of muscular cramps. Sandalwood purifies the blood, not to forget, and it is a good anti-inflammatory agent, especially for the urogenital organs. It accelerates the speed of metabolic functioning, helps to increase fat metabolism against problems of cellulitis, for example, and it enhances hormonal production in men. Sandalwood also diminishes fever and makes it easier to support heat and thirst. It acts as a mild sedative and may be used to ease pain. It has also interesting healing and revitalizing properties for the skin. In cases of eczema, dermatitis, herpes and other skin problems, but also as a rejuvenator and nourisher of the skin, sandalwood reveals its miraculous cosmetic properties. In Ayurveda, sandalwood is particularly used for its cooling and soothing influence on the nervous system and for the treatment of anxieties. A paste of sandalwood powder applied on the forehead often used against headache. Sponging with sandalwood water is used to reduce body temperature. Sandalwood harmonizes the energies, we can say, between the root and the crown chakra, thereby enabling the contact between the elements of the above and below, the heaven and earth in human physiology, so that communication where the subtle levels of nature becomes enhanced. Sandalwood's beautiful energies allow man to be pulled up beyond duality and to get in tune with the intrinsic harmony in creation. As a spiritual power plant, sandalwood is definitely linked to the experience of the finer realms of creation, the hidden or sacred levels from where it helps to transform and uplift vital energies, opening our heart for the presence of the cosmic intelligence inside ourselves and in nature.